So this morning's mission is to go in with some little plastic vials and after we've put in the location pinger, this guy right here, we're going to put that in the cave, it'll float vertically in the cave and then we're going to find it on the surface because it's going to emit some signals. And after that we're going to go and try to find some critters to bring up in little plastic vials so the kids can see them. And then after the kids leave this afternoon, we'll go return them to their watery home. Here comes our first question from Thunder Bay. Hi, my name is Brooklyn, and my question is, do have you ever encountered with any rare animals in the blue holes? We think that animals like the remipede, we think they've been around for over 200 million years with very little change. He's got little venomous pincers, so he can actually like lock onto something, inject venom, and kind of dissolve the thing and eat it over time. Whatever inside, like the meat or something, it turns into jello so that they can just slurp it up. Wow. Ugh. And it's got dozens of legs swimming around there, and it's actually the top predator. And you can see how tiny it is, but it's the top predator in the cave. And remember, it doesn't have eyes. It only senses from either vibrations or some kind of chemical signal in the water. Some of them are endemic. That means that they live only in one cave that we found them on the whole planet. And in some cases, animals can be endemic to a single room in a single cave. Now, there might be more of them on planet Earth, but there's not too many cave divers that can identify animals, so we haven't found them yet. Thank you. We'll see you again tomorrow. As loud as we can from all the classes out there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>